My name is Tracy Eden. I'm a freelance journalist in Florida. I love traveling to other countries to look for stories. It's not just the opportunity to see another country or experience another culture. I want to help raise awareness of issues and problems that aren't getting attention. We all know the number of U.S. correspondents abroad has dropped in recent years. Broadcast news outlets are giving less airtime to foreign news. Many newspapers have closed foreign bureaus. I traveled to Bolivia to learn more about the dangers facing the country's youth. Bolivian President Evo Morales, shown here attending a huge rally near Lake Titicaca, takes pride in protecting young people. But some Bolivians question whether he is doing enough. Bolivia has controversial laws concerning child labor. Children are allowed to work for themselves or their families as young as 10. Once they hit age 12, they can work for others. NGOs that work with child laborers say some young people are exploited or sexually abused. Others wind up living on the streets. Some youth activists told me that children under 14 should not work, period. But I found that it's more complicated than that. Some Bolivian children can't go to school unless they work. An 11-year-old boy told me he earns money shining shoes to pay for school supplies. He wore a ski mask because he didn't want people to know about his job. He said people look down on low-wage workers. The problem is that the government hasn't fully enforced the law. Bolivian law includes measures to prevent abuse and exploitation of children. So child protection exists only on paper. Other children in danger include kids with one or both parents in prison. Bolivian law allows children up to age six to live behind bars with their convict parents. One mother told me she knows prison isn't a good environment for her children, but said at least they get to see their father. Inmates have raped some children. I couldn't get into any prison, so I climbed onto a rooftop near a jail and let the camera roll. I watched one inmate stroll past several children, go into a dark corner, and raise his hand to his face, as if he were doing drugs. Some children get sick from the fumes of illegal drugs done by inmates in prison. I also spoke to victims of violence and human trafficking. One man told me his sister was kidnapped, held captive, and raped at age 13. She survived that trauma and her attacker was jailed. But she went missing after that, and her brother suspects that the attacker's family had his sister killed. And he said he was considering taking matters into his own hands. The brother was desperate and angry. There's no justice, he told me. Just a few days ago, an NGO called World Justice Project released its latest findings on the rule of law around the globe. Bolivia ranked 29th out of 30 in the region in the group's rule of law index. That measures such things as security, corruption, justice, transparency, and accountability. A lawyer in Cochabamba told me the justice situation has gone from bad to worse. Terribly bad is how he described it. On another day, I saw a family of glue sniffers sprawled on the sidewalk. I couldn't believe my eyes. A man was helping a small child inhale something from a bag. A journalist in Cochabamba told me he's seen entire families inhaling glue and making their months old babies inhale. He said, they give it to the child to inhale and people see it as normal. They don't do anything. They don't say anything. And the authorities aren't doing much about it either. There's no doubt that many young people face an uphill fight in Bolivia, but I found reasons for optimism. I talked to many people who are working to improve the lives of young people. They run programs for everyone from street children and underage prostitutes to orphans and child laborers. Bolivia is a fascinating country. It left a lasting impression on me. People are hardworking and industrious. They're friendly. I was in the country during several holidays and saw Bolivians celebrating in the street. It was a thrill to see them dancing and playing music at all hours, showing pride in their rich history and indigenous culture. It is a beautiful country, despite its problems. I hope to go back. There are many more stories to tell.